How's it YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. In this episode, I remember that at the end of the last episode, I wanted to just dump everything in the treasure chest and I just realized I've got so much stuff in all of these treasure chests uh, that I really just need to dump it all somewhere. And, nah. I'm just gonna deposit everything and just take out the stuff that I really want. Um, recall potion is useful. The watch is nice. Healing potion is nice. Um, glow sticks can be helpful. Uh, some lesser healing is good too. Uh, compass is eh, it's alright. Um, might as well bring some dynamite just in case. Don't need any spikes. Don't need the ruthless blue moon. Don't need sandstone block. Could use some torches. Don't need another. What you call it? Uh. All right, and then let's just check out the other ones. Uh, what's in here? No, nothing of uh, usefulness. Nothing that I need. Uh, no, just gemstones. Or is weapons? Don't need any other weapons. Locks. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring some sand with me. Um, just in case. Uh, any other potions, thorns, mining, gills, whatever. Uh, I think I should be good. I think I should be good from that. Um, statues, alchemy. Alright, so, today's mission, uh, today's mission is just to get to the dungeon, and then through the dungeon to the bottom of it, um, to get to the underworld, uh, because I would like to start a bit of underworld mining stuff. Um, I'm going to want some kind of protection against the lava, which um, is going to be a bit difficult to get. Because um, I think I need like the specific potion for like obsidian skin potion, I think. I think that's what it's called. Um, I know that the obsidian or obsidian skin or whatever, obsidian skull would be useful for, um, for mining the meteorite that apparently landed somewhere. I'm guessing it's probably going to be on the right side, although I don't actually haven't actually been across the surface yet uh, enough to see it or whatever. And, uh, anyways, uh, see, so yeah, I don't know where the meteor landed. I might find it on the way over to the dungeon, but I don't know. that'd be kind of funny if it landed like on the dungeon. Uh, but I don't think so because I think it landed while I was fighting Skeletor, so or Skeletron, Skeletroy, whatever you want to call him. Um, so yeah, it's probably going to end up being on the right side. Possibly, it'd be kind of funny if it landed in the same spot it landed before. Just in the big crater that it was already landed in or whatever. That'd be kind of funny. Don't you think? Aha! Laughter! Stuff. I don't know. Uh, anyways, let's just go through here. Alright. Torches. I probably could have, like, bought some more torches. I mean, I've got 64, so that's actually not that bad. But, um, ow. Oh, hey, there's a treasure chest over there. I wonder what was inside. Uh, probably nothing of importance. But, um, that worm is still following me. Let's see, just trying to get down as far as I can. As fast as I can. I should get the map on. There we go. Just holding down as I go through here. Don't even care that the mechanic's probably gonna die here. I'm out. Uh, let's see, trying to avoid enemies. Don't even want to fight anyone. I just want to get through here. Um, nah, I don't want to go through there. This way, I'm um, almost there. Almost at the deepest, darkest part of this place that I've been. Oh, I'm also about to die. Uh, boy. That's not good. Oh, boy. Okay, so now is the time to panic because I'm gonna die. Um, got less than 100 health. Oh boy, yeah, I am so dead. I am so wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe that wasn't the best idea. Maybe I should just dig down. Uh, or I could like dig through the dungeon. That's an idea. Um, 
<laughs> I mean, it didn't take me that long, obviously, but it felt like it took a long time to get all the way over there. Mm. I kind of just want to, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, aborting mission in order to uh, just dig down here. Yep. I am that kind of person. I'm just like, oh, it's dangerous and stuff. I better just stop before I get hurt. It's a terrible way to live, but, um, where am I standing on? There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm, there we go. Throwing down a glow stick. Come on. So that I can have, like, mobile light with me. And, uh, oh yeah, there was this mining thing down here that I found that one time. That I just completely ignored. Uh, and by mining thing, I mean that cart track, minecart track. That uh, was kind of cool. But, um, yeah, how about that uh, time lapse y thing that I'm not doing? That's fine. Because uh, it doesn't really take that long to dig down this far. Um, I'll probably use a time lapse to really, uh, to really dig out like a massive uh, tunnel down here. Like, ten blocks wide or something. Just a massive cavern or whatever. Um, yeah, let's see. Took that there? No. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna leave the map off in order to, uh, sort of build the suspense of, like, oh, when am I gonna- Ah, no! Um, <laughs> okay, gotta remember, gotta stay right in the center. What is that? What was that? That was- Interesting. Just got a bunch of money for some reason? Or maybe was was stealing my money or that was really weird and I'm possibly going to die. Am I gonna make it? Probably not. Oh boy, yeah, definitely not now. Uh come on, come on, come on. Let me breathe, let me breathe, there we go. Whew. Um, but yeah, do you guys know what that was? It was just... I think it was either randomly giving me money, or it was like stealing my money, and then I defeated it, and it gave me my money back. Don't know. Don't really know. And oh look, gold ore. Um, and I'm probably gonna start drowning again, so let's... Try to get out of here. There we go. At least out of here enough to, uh... To get some air. I'm gonna try not to break this, um, to break this, whatchamacallit, uh, this tunnel in terms of, uh, digging past these two blocks that I'm digging, or two blocks wide. Uh, I mean, I can walk past the two blocks wide in order to get stuff like that, but, um, I want to only dig these two blocks and then just time-lapse me falling through and just, uh, widening the... <sighs> so yeah, how's your day been? Because this has been my day, almost. Uh, most of it. I've been recording a lot of Terraria today. I'm recording this quite early in advance. Another, uh, what should we call it? Another boulder. Wow, that's a lot of water. Which would actually be quite helpful. Um, that's right, there was, uh, because I was looking on the Terraria wiki a little bit to see, um, what it said about stuff, and, uh, I, apparently there's an item that's like an infinite bucket of water. That, that sounds helpful, uh, especially for trying to get obsidian and such. Uh, that could be real useful. Uh, since you'd be able to just pour a bunch of water down on it, on the lava. Because uh, the problem with just getting a bunch of water, and then, um, the problem with- Oh, hey, have I been down here before? There's a tombstone thingy. But, um, the problem with getting just a bunch of water and, like, draining it into the underworld is that it starts evaporating really quickly, so you'd have to really be digging quickly to keep up with it. And I'm about to drown again. There we go. Gonna try to not be too, uh, too reckless like I was before. 
Even though I probably could have made it since there was this little cavern down here that I didn't know about. I'm kind of surprised that glow stick is uh, sticking around this far because I thought it was supposed to like die out eventually or something. Or like I would have to end up picking it up or something. Uh, oh boy. That's not good. Um, Alright, I'm gonna sort of break my rule in order to dig over here. Uh, in order to breathe. Come on. There we go. Okay. Kinda wanna see what's down there though. And not that much. Okay. Let's get back over into here. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Now the um now the glow stick's gone. Right, so I don't think I'm that close yet. Considering I still don't see any lava. Oh, look at piranha. Um, but yeah, there's no. What should we call it? Um, ah, oh, dang. Alright, I'm gonna break the rule again. Because I really need to do this to live. Whew, okay, I should probably just spend some time waiting for my health to regenerate. But that's not what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna keep digging down. Because what do you do if you dig? I totally butchered that, but, um, <laughs> kind of lost focus halfway through. This is a very, oh, well, I was going to say it's a very large world, but it's really not. It is a small world, after all. Um, although, speaking of small worlds and such, um, I actually made another world called, uh, Plethora. Or plethora, however you want to pronounce it. That um, ooh, look, the underworld. Um, I built it with the intention of having it be a world that I can play uh, on my own whenever I'm not recording, and I just don't feel like recording, or like I'm editing a video so I can't record or whatever. Um, so that was the intent of it, and so far it's working out fine. What is going on with my controls? Come on. Looks like there's possibly something down there, which, uh, I mean, obviously there's something down there, but hold on, where's that? Aha! Obsidian, I think. Yes, obsidian. I need mine this before it goes away. Or, I mean, before the water goes away. Which is kind of what I was saying. Uh, let's try mining the top portion here. That looks really cool. The, uh, the red moss type stuff. Uh, and I know I need to use a lot of this obsidian in order to make the obsidian skull, which I believe grants me immunity to fiery blocks like um, like the hellstone in the meteorite. So I'm going to try following this water uh, in order to get more obsidian, like right here. Because lots of obsidian is nice. Lots and lots and lots of it. Which I really only need like 20, I think, in order to make an obsidian skull. But you also need obsidian in order to actually make the ore uh, that you get down here. Alright, All right. so I really wish this was actually the hellstone ore that I was getting, but I suppose this works as well. Because I think if you're mining hellstone underwater, you could like double mine for obsidian and hellstone or whatever. And by double mine, it just means like farm for each of them. Or whatever. And I feel like I should probably get a bucket. <laughs> like, I should invest in making some buckets in order to get either water or lava. Because both have their uses. Uh, lava, a little bit less so, in my opinion. Because um, it's pretty dangerous. Which doesn't necessarily mean it has less uses, it just means that the uses that it has are a bit more, um, a bit more specified, I suppose. Digging through there. I'm surprised the water's staying this long. I guess I must not be that deep into the underworld yet. Because otherwise the water should just be evaporating. Which, actually, yeah, I think I see the bottom of the underworld, or the entrance to the real underworld. Uh, down there. Now, that wasn't good. Took a bit of damage. Oh, boy. Come on, there we go. Uh, 
I know I'm in the dark, and it's probably hard to see uh, what it is I'm doing, but hopefully you can just see the lava and how I'm interacting with it, and that'll be good or whatever. Because I really just want to get all of this obsidian. And I feel like I'm going to run out of water any second now, <laughs> and, uh, and then just start getting like flooded with the lava or something. But, um, alright, let's see, there we go. I am actually kind of curious, there we go. How much water do I have? I have a lot of water left. It's really interesting. Let me throw down that, uh, what should we call it? That glow stick. And I have deviated from the, uh, deviated from the center that I was trying to dig through. But that's fine. Because I want to, uh, I want to try draining the water this way. I want to see where it takes me. I shouldn't really need much, um, much lighting when I get down there, right? Like the underworld's pretty well lit up. Oh, look, a voodoo demon thing down there. Good thing I've got my space gun. Uh, huzzah. So now I'm finally down here. Officially, basically. Alright, so this is gonna be where it gets really dangerous. Because now there's all these demony monster things shooting at me, and yeah, now the water's really receding. I'm not sure if that's just because of the. Uh, <laughs> there's a pool on it down here. Uh, I'm not sure if the water's receding because it's actually like going down one of the buildings or something, or if. Uh, wow, I cannot hit that thing. Uh, if it's actually going down into a building of some kind, or if it's just uh, evaporating. It's probably just evaporating. But it's also going down that building, so. You know. Uh, let's dig out around it. Alright, nice. The music is very interesting. Very, uh, mood setting. Very fitting of the environment. Alright, so I want to dig out under where I'm gonna be digging the hellstone. Because I want the water to drain, or the lava to drain down there. Um, let's see. Now, another reason why I brought the sand. Oh, great, a goblin army is approaching. Uh, boy, that's just what I needed. Um, that's not that bad, actually. It actually is nice to have the goblin army um, coming soon in the next episode. So we got a little bit, ah, a little bit of false down. Alright. Let's get out of here with a recall potion, because the goblin army is approaching. Um, and as soon as the goblin army uh, uh, arrives is when I'm going to start the next episode. And, alright, obsidian skull. And apparently I do not have enough for the actual health forge, so... Let's talk to you. How much did I even get? 11? Uh, flask of fire, brick, obsidian chest, obsidian sink. Wait. Requires a health forge, but. Huh. Can I not make it anymore? Do I have to find it? Uh, where's my obsidian? Right here. Um. Uh, I like that you can make obsidian clothes. That's cool. Hmm. Apparently, you don't make the forge anymore. I guess I have to just have to find it down there. That's interesting. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, and Goblin Army has appeared. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.